Here in this video, we're going to look at installing your trial version of Electrical OM. In order to access a free trial version of Electrical OM, we need to go to the Electrical OM website. Our web address is found here. You can also Google for Electrical OM to find the website. Once on the website, you can access the free trial by selecting the relevant option here. Now we're on the correct page of the website, we need to register in order to download the software. In this registration, I've used a number of made up details. Please note, however, that all details are verified when registrations are made. Any details that cannot be confirmed, the registration will be rejected. Now the details of my registration have been confirmed. I have received an email with the information required in order for me to start my trial. You can see here we have a link to download the software and a serial number for the free trial to commence. All free trials are active for 14 days after you receive the email. Clicking on the link, I'm now going to download the latest version of the software. I have now downloaded the installation file. For the purposes of this demonstration, I have placed the installation file on my desktop. However, when you download yourself, this file will be found in the downloads file here. To start the installation, I'm going to double click the installation file. Upon doing this, your computer may ask you to allow this application to make changes to your device. You will need to select yes. You will then be asked to agree to the Electrical OM user license agreement. Ensure that you read the license agreement fully. Once you have read through the terms of the license agreement, you can then choose to agree to use the software. Upon pressing the agree item, the next button will now become available. Once this screen appears to tell us the installation is complete, we can now look at using Electrical OM. Here I now have the Electrical OM shortcut to open the software. To access the software, I'm going to double click the icon. On first starting the software, you are always required to be setting up the libraries. Setting up the libraries will also happen when upgrading from one version of the software to another. This operation can usually take one to two minutes to complete. After the first time this has been done on any new version of the software, this will not be done again. Now my libraries are complete. The software is telling me I currently don't have a license. We now need to activate our license that we received on the email earlier by using the through internet online activation option. I'm going to accept this form of installation and press OK. Here is where we now need to put our serial number. Your serial number can be found from your email we received earlier. In order to place my serial number there, I'm going to highlight the number, I'm going to copy and then paste that number into the serial number box. I can then press activate as you can see, I have now been given an information box telling me that my activation is successful. Once the activation is made, we will always need to restart the application. This is also the same whenever you're changing your license from one machine to another. I am now in access into Electrical OM. Within the trial version, we have a number of tabs and information available. You will also have access to two of the add-ons. Here we also have the CAD plan design and the UK forms, as well as the core software. Here in the top right hand corner, we can see the type of license that is currently being used to access the software. By going to the support section here, a number of items will be available under maintenance. 
These are quite important sometimes when installing and trying to use certain parts of the software. You may receive a warning that you do not have the right .NET framework. Where you receive this warning, you will need to select this option and it will run the installation for the .NET framework in the background. If you are also planning to use the UK Forms, you may also need to install the UK Forms Access Runtime. When changing from a free trial license to a full purchase version license, the support menu here can also be used to change the license that you have. You can see here then, we will go through the activation methods as we saw before. This time, however, when we choose to go through the internet, it is going to give us the option to deactivate the current license, which is what we will need to do before we can input our new license number.